Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to deploy Cisco XRV image in EVNG up and running. So let's start. Okay, this is the installation step I have listed. Uh, first, you have to download the uh, Cisco XRV image from the Cisco official website. Once it is uh, downloaded, then you have to upload this image dot OVA. The format at the end it will be OVA. So once you have that image, you have to upload this image to your EV server using uh, FileZilla or WinSFP or any other FTP uh, application that you have. Yes, so I have already uploaded. Uh, I, I use mostly uh, FileZilla. So I uploaded already uh, the file into my EVNG using FileZilla. So you guys, you can see the next step will be Next step is to unzip the file. It's a tar. Use the tar file for check the file inside the OVA format. XBF. Then you have to copy paste. Yes. Here you can see there are uh, <clears throat> three files are there uh, under the .ova. So we are going to use the .vmdk file to create our XRV image for EVNG. The next we did the uh, tag then what you have to do we have to convert the vmdk file into qcow2 file the evng it recognize the uh, qcow2 not the uh, vmdk so as uh, we eve is already running on top of ubuntu and it has the uh, the predefined uh, tool which will convert the vmdk file to the qcow2 so i'm going to do that Snapshot unit lab. Sorry, it should be under Q. Q more if an image. This then what convert? We are going to convert the um, VMDK to IFNF. The format is VMDK then we want to convert it to the qcow2 so this is the syntax i will give the syntax in the description of the video and you have to use this and <clears throat> it's, it's a source file and destination file format is hda.qcow2 yes because if you so by default as per the uh, eve so you have to uh, use this hda format Otherwise, it will not get recognized. Okay, it got converted now. We have the image with us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, another folder under the QMU. So I'm good. So I don't have any folder. Now I'm going to create a new folder, mkgir, it's a directory, it's xrv, it's a k9 image, and my image is 5.1.1, so here you can see I'm using 5.1.1, so I created the folder, okay, you can see I don't have the image, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the image which is in my temporary folder to this particular folder directory. Simply compress the entire folder. Yes, it is smooth. So what you can do, you can do move or you can do a copy, but still we don't want to, uh, you know, over uh, overwrite the existing. So just move it, and I'm gonna delete uh, and give some free space in my hard disk. So I'm going to remove all the files here. So make sure that you remove all this file because it will unnecessarily consume all your memories, the hard disk. Now I removed. 
you can verify using a df hyphen h in case if you uh, if you can check like here it will show you like the partition like what path is using how much memory so you can uh, use it and delete the file necessary files in the if now i removed it so i'm going to this path here you can see now i have this the next step is we have to fix the formation for the folder so how i'm going to do this you use the same command which we used in my last video so this is whenever you are adding the new images to the eve so you have to use this to fix it slash so opting unit lab wrapper unl wrappers hyphen e fix permissions it takes a few seconds maybe 10 to 20 seconds yes it is done now we have the uh, image uh, ready so i'm going to log into the eu in the using the web url i've already logged it and create a new lab click here and cisco xrv yes save it okay let me sign out and sign in again What you can simply right click, click on node, and you can type Cisco. So here you can see in my last video, we discussed about how to use the IOL image. This video, we have uploaded the XRV. So here you can see it is it is in the blue color, which means that the image is available to use. So this basically, uh, we'll be having the four ports. Uh, in this, only two ports will be there. One will be used for the management. So, so I can give any name. Zero one. So in case if I need two nodes, I can simply give two here so that the two nodes will be there. So I'll give zero so that it will come as one and two in the last. You can change it's a telnet. Okay. Here guys you can see this node one, node two. So what I'm going to I'm going to drag and drop. Just click just go across there and you can see the plug. So you can drop here like this. Then you'll see there will be three interfaces. So I'm going to connect this gig 0 slash 0 to 0 slash in while starting we saw four interface in the out of four one will be used for the CPU sorry the management you can see this so only three interfaces are available in case if you want you have to increase the interface number in the starting or you can switch off the uh, you know turn off the node and then you can increase it so now my XRV is booting Let me quickly drag and drop parallelly. Multi windows, yes. It will take a few minutes, maybe two to three minutes. Let me do this so that you guys can view both the nodes and the topology as well. Let me drag my topology on the top. Uh, now the router is ready. It's asking for enter root system name. So I'll give like this. is ready now both the notes yes and that's all guys and now we are able to log in and we'll be able to start doing the configuration and the square by six app I hope uh, you guys enjoy watching the video and you will practice it and please do like comment and share it with your friends and thanks for watching again. Okay.